birds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in uh, Surah um, Waqiyah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitanir Rajeem, Wa lahmi tayrim mimma yashtahoon. The foods of Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking, and the flesh of the birds that they desire will be served to the people of Jannah. Okay? And the flesh of the foal. So, among all the foods that people eat in Jannah, I only saw this particular in, in this verse that the food of the uh, meat of the birds is mentioned as, as, as our food in Jannah. So, if we desire it, we will be given ready made. No need to cook even, it will be served to you in a cooked format, inshallah, in a very tasty bread. Chicken is also good. Yeah, chicken and turkey that I put in the list before, it is still in the, yeah, you can consider it as birds as well. And uh, also other pigeon, whatever it is. So in general, what, what uh, ruling that we have about birds, when do we consider a bird to be halal? Are every bird halal? Is every bird halal? No. no, we have condition. Now we have three categories of this. Why, why, when some bird can become haram for you for eating? Now, first thing is that in in the land animals, we talk about which uh, part? We talked about fangs, right? But in uh, in case of birds, we talk about talons. You see here, this these are talons. So there are two conditions that you have to remember. Any animal which has talons, and it uses these talons to hunt. Eagles, hawks and falcons hunt with their talons. Tell me an animal or a bird which has talons but, but it does not use it to hunt. Uh, chicken, what about chicken? It has talons, right? So yeah, it, so that's, that's why I'm saying it has talons but it doesn't hunt with talons. So that's why it is halal. So it, do, it has to satisfy these two conditions. Okay. Next one. Prohibited birds, second category. What is this bird doing? What is it eating? It is eating a carrion, right? It's a dead animal and carrion is basically a, you eat a decaying rotten meat. That's, that's called, you know, when animal dies and it stays there, it becomes rotten, that becomes carrion. If any bird eats that, you, you know, it becomes a disgusting food, mustaqbat, and the animal itself, if it's the natural habit of that animal, you cannot eat uh, that animal. And most common is vultures and kites. So these are the two categories that you have to remember. And do you ever see these animals or birds? So, subhanAllah, this is amazing that uh, these two animals Hudhud and Surat, the Hupu and the Shrike, you cannot eat them. No matter what, no matter if you say Bismillah, Allah, 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 it still remains haram. Uh, why is it? Because Rasulullah said so. And this is one of the categories of animals. We're going to talk about these animals a little bit more. But this is one category. We do not have a reason why it is uh, prohibited. But as I said, there are four or five reasons why something is prohibited. Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just wants to test us, just like He tested our father, Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Just He told him not to eat from that tree. Reason? He didn't mention the reason. He didn't even ask for the reason. He told us to stay away from it. We stay away from it. And this is a hadith from Abu Dawood, wherein Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi salam prohibited the killing of four animals, the ant, the bee, the shrike, and the hoopoo. So that's a hadith, and that's why it is specifically prohibited. So now the how we sometimes birds look almost the same, right? Hupu, the way you find it is that it has this uh, crown of feathers. That's how you can recognize it. It's kind of colorful too. Who remembers this bird from the Quran? Where is it mentioned in Quran? Which story is it? Suleiman alayhi salam. You remember that story, right? When he has this army of all kinds of creatures and beings, and Hupu was a kind of informant in that army. And he was missing one time, and he, uh, Sulaiman alayhi salam, was like, Where is Hupu? Where is, where is this uh, Hudhud? Subhanallah. And w uh, where was Hupu? Where was he trying to get information from? From the land of. Uh, what's the land of the. What's the land of that uh, called? No, it was uh, Saba, the queen of Saba. That's where he got that uh, information. And this story, by the way, is mentioned in Surah An-Namal, actually. Yeah. So uh, what happened is, 
that land, the queen and the people, where they were uh, worshipping what? Expecting, worshipping the sun. So that was Hupu. And by the way, this is like just a 10-inch ten, ten uh, small bird. So it's not too big and it, it's like... Uh, and interestingly, this is prohibited in Bible too. If you read Bible, it's there. It's prohibited to eat this. And Shrike and Surat. So it, it looks like this. And it's like a double the size of uh, the hoopoe. It's almost 20 inches. And it's what is interesting about this animal is that, you know, when it catches something like a lizard or something, they have a specific way of uh, eating it. They, they, what you, they call it impaling it on the thorns. They, they just stick it, they fix it on the thorns. And they eat little by little for a long period of day. So th that's how the, the Shrike eats. It's, it's, I mean, interesting uh, YouTube videos if you see. So they, they, have they don't have a freezer. <laughs> so <laughs> it, 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 you notice this, it has like a very curved beak and very pointed beak. And how they kill a rat and uh, mice. If you see the YouTube videos, it's very interesting. But we really don't know why it is haram apart from the hadith that Rasulullah specifically prohibited us. To not eat this, this this two specific birds. So yeah, the brother is asking why why the the croaking of a different animal apart from frog. It is also tasbi. That's correct. Every every bird has its own way of saying uh, or praising Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The scholars that's what they mentioned that the the reason why frog is haram is not because of its croaking itself, but Rasulullah told us to to not kill it. So that's the reason. But maybe subhanallah, yeah, that's the specific mentioning it specifically what makes it haram. Mentions the word because, and that's what it appears that croaking has something to do with not killing and the tasbih of uh, this uh, frog itself. So, but you know, if that's it, if, if we know that we should not kill it, that is sufficient enough. We don't know if there is something special about croaking that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes, we don't know, but it, that's the reason that Rasulullah gave. Yes, brother. No, even birds eat flies. Birds eat lizards also. So that's not a problem. If you know, if, if it is eating carrion, then it becomes jalala immediately. You cannot eat from that. Okay. So yeah, the birds in, eat like grasshoppers, insects, bees. Those are all their food. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala made them halal, and when they eat it and digest it, becomes halal for us as well. Shall.